Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's EVM and this is about people stealing your fuel at home. Basically, can somebody charge their car on your home charger without you knowing? Or if they can, because let's face it, all you have to do is plug it in, then is there anything you can put in place, any security measures to stop people doing this? Now, if you've got your own driveway, like a typical house with your private driveway, I wouldn't worry about this and I'll tell you why later on. But there are cases out there where I think some sort of security measure, an authentication procedure is worth having. For example, if you have a parking bays rather than your own driveway. So your neighbor or somebody else could be parked next to your charger, but not in your parking space. So it's not immediately obvious, but they could use your charger without you really knowing about it. Are there things in place to stop that from happening? Ultimately, yes. But for me, as I said, if you've got a driveway, it's not something I'd personally worry about. Now, if you do need some sort of, again, security authentication, you've got all sorts of things. There's essentially physical or software based. Physical is just having some sort of padlock or physical security to stop someone actually plugging their car in. So that would be I don't know, a key or some sort of, like I said, padlock to stop you or anybody else from getting that charged lead off the wall. So ultimately it's physically secure. That for me is gonna get old quite quickly because you're gonna to have to unlock it every time and then lock it back up each time you've used your charger and it could get a little bit boring. The people who have that in place tend not to have it a month later. It's like, oh, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about this. I'm sick of doing it. So that's one option. And depending on your situation, it's something you may consider. And it's something you can do after the fact as well. So if you don't have any security right now, you can add that to a charger. There are also security features in terms of software built into these things. They're all smart chargers now, if you buy one. So ultimately you can make it, and this depends on the model and the make, that we're looking at, of course. Uh, some have PIN code access, some have an RFID card access, and some will just mean that you could set it up and you have to start the charge using the app, for example. So therefore, without that app, without that PIN code, without that RFID card, no one can charge their car. But again, that might make it a little bit inconvenient for yourself. I know a few people who have got the um, app only method, and then they've plugged the car in, and forgotten to turn it on come the next morning and well you get the point but if you are looking for a charge point and you're wondering what security features are out there then the best thing i can do is recommend you go to a website that not only lists many charge points but installs them properly nationwide and that's smart smarthomecharge.co.uk can't even get the name right now if i needed a home charger they installed mine would be getting one from smarthomecharge.co.uk they have a huge array of chargers. You can scroll down the list. There's a ton of them. You've got a comparison tool. So you tell them what car you've got and they will pick the best one for your particular vehicle. They've got loads of accessories, cables, different lengths. If you need public charging type two, for example, they've got all that. You can pay in full, you can pay in monthly installments and you've got all options. I've had mine installed by them, my brothers, Harry's or by Smart Home Charge and it's been faultless. Check their Trustpilot score and please thank them for sponsoring this channel. So it's at smarthomecharge.co.uk. So ultimately, like I said, there's a charger out there that will pretty much suit everyone. But, and specifically, this is aimed at people with driveways, which I would say, if you can charge at home, this is by far the most common situation. It's not something I really would worry about. And it's the risk reward situation for the thief, if you will, who's stealing your electricity. Because if somebody plugged into my car right now, the worst case scenario, if I was still on the price cap, which is pretty much the highest anybody should be on now, there are cheap tariffs out there, then I would lose, give or take, roughly £2.50 for each hour they are sat on my driveway charging. That is how much they are saving as well. So they're saving themselves £2.50, but sat there at risk on my driveway, whether they're in the car or not, for an hour, for £2.50, for, for £10 for four hours, it's not worth the risk. It's not like stealing a parcel off your doorstep, which might be worthless, but ultimately it might be an iPhone. That, that puts them at risk for what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds at most. 
They're sat here for many hours to save a few pounds. And this is why it's something that's not really an issue. It's something that's about as big a deal as someone stealing your water from an outside tap. Yes, it can happen. Yes, there's bound to be an idiot out there that will do it once maybe, but it's not something I would personally worry about. Now the setup I have, I'm on a time of day tariff. I charge at night almost exclusively because that's when it's cheapest. It's literally, I think, a quarter of the price compared to the day rate. So I've told my charger to only charge, in my case, between half past two and half past six in the morning. So if I plug my car in right now, it won't do anything until that time period. And if somebody comes and borrows my charger, as it were, during the day, of course, it will charge because it's set to charge at the cheap time at night. So ultimately, a lot of people have some sort of security in place. A lot of EV drivers are on a time of day tariff and have that, well, without even really knowing about it. It's a, it's a little bit of security that, again, most people have, but it's the sort of thing that you can do with a smart charger. You can tell it when to charge, if you will. So you could restrict it. So, well, I'll only charge it between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. the next day because I'm not at home during the day. Things like that. There are timers that you can put in place that ultimately mean that it's useless to anyone else outside of those periods. So ultimately, again, this is something that I would probably say it is not worth the hassle of padlocking this to the wall and unlocking it and locking it each time. You can get physical keys for chargers. Again, where's my key? Go in and get it. It'll probably inconvenience you more than any potential thievery that may go on. Because as I said, for the sake of a few pound per hour, I don't think many people out there will risk it. The biggest security issue, I suppose, if you want to go down that route, but that's more of a different video, is someone vandalizing them or cutting the cable off. Ultimately, there's not really much you can do against that other than typical security measures, CCTV, lights outside your house, you know, security lights. It's like saying, how do I stop someone smashing my car window? It's, if someone wants to do it, there's not much you can do or guard against it other than the basic security measures, which you would have hopefully in place for your house anyway. So yeah, that's a different sort of situation. This is about somebody just borrowing a charger. It's not like having a plug socket outside. You can't charge your phone from it. You can't charge a, uh, well, you can't do your lawn mowing or anything like that. Your neighbor cannot borrow it. The only thing that can use this, that I'm aware of anyway, is an electric car. So it's not like having, again, a plug socket for the world to use. Someone's got to park a massive two-ton vehicle out there to make use of it. And that in itself is fairly obvious to yourself and neighbors, hopefully anyway. So yeah, that's it really. It's a question that crops up all the time. So if this is something that you're concerned about, again, I wouldn't worry. You can have features in pretty much any charger these days, software ones anyway. You can add physical stuff to pretty much, again, any charge solution after the fact or as part of the installation, whatever. Someone like smarthomecharge.co.uk will be able to advise you the best solution for that. But again, I wouldn't put it as a priority personally, unless you do have that sort of edge case of having parking bays or you just don't trust your neighbors. And of course, the final security solution, something I do if I ever go on holiday for any long length of time, is just switch it off at the fuse board at the main consumer unit. Take the power off, then no one can use it, can they? So again, there are many solutions to this which ultimately don't inconvenience you. So there we go. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for Smart Home Charge for sponsoring and keeping the channel going. And I will see you soon.